A couple of years ago, we had a question. We wanted to know if avocado seeds germinated faster if they had their skin on or their skin off. So as an international community of avocado enthusiasts, we collectively ran an experiment, the first international avocado experiment. And we discovered that yes, peeling the seed does seem to speed up the germination process, but there are other things to discover about growing avocado trees. So today we are launching the second international avocado experiment. G'day avocado enthusiasts. Right at the start of this YouTube channel, I conducted an experiment myself. I wanted to know whether it was faster to grow avocado trees using the water and toothpick method or by putting them straight in soil or a potting media. And I discovered from my very small scale experiment that, well, it was faster to put them in soil. Now, over the years, a few people have critiqued the way I did it, and it was a very small sample. I only had five or six in each group. And I thought it might be time to bring this experiment to the international community of avocado enthusiasts. So. It, the International Avocado Experiment 2 is going to be about whether or not it's faster to grow avocado seeds in water or in soil or potting media. I'll use potting media and soil interchangeably. I know they're not the same thing, but if I say soil, I am meaning potting media or something similar to that. We want to do this well. We want our findings to be accurate and we just want it to be you know, robust. So we're going to follow the scientific method. And this is the method that scientists use when performing experiments. It doesn't matter which field of science you're in, the method through which they find information out is generally pretty similar. It follows these steps. The way that each step might look might be a little different, but generally this is the process. So first we're going to go and we're going to make an observation and ask some questions. Then we're going to gather some background information. We're then going to form a hypothesis or a prediction. Then we'll run a test, the experiment itself. Then once we have run that, we will compile and analyze our data and then we will publish it. So I have done most of the work and I will do most of the work, but I do need people to help me participate in this study that we are performing. Generally speaking, the larger the sample size, the more accurate your findings are going to be. In our last experiment, we had about 27 participants, which was great, and we were able to see some very clear trends. But if we were to have even double that, that would be fantastic. We would get, I'd be much more confident in our results. So, I am inviting you to join me, but let me first walk us through the steps that I've taken so far and what we're going to do next. So first I need to make an observation and ask a question. So what am I actually trying to find out? Well, a couple of years ago, right at the start of this YouTube channel, I didn't even have a thousand subscribers. I conducted my own experiment where I, cause I wanted to know if it were faster to germinate and grow avocado seeds in water or in soil because I'd done it both ways, I wanted to compare them. And I found through that experiment that the seeds grown in soil germinated faster and grew faster than the seeds that were started in water. They also had a higher success rate. But I want to know if that's actually true. It was a fairly small sample. I only had five or six in each group. And I want to know if I make that data set much bigger and if I'm a little more careful because I left the water ones outside, they might have not had ideal conditions. I want to know if that is true. So the question that I'm asking is, is it better to grow avocado seeds in water or in soil? Now I need to gather some background information. So what do seeds need to germinate? Well, I know that all seeds need at least three key ingredients. They need water, heat, and oxygen. And that's true for avocado seeds. And all of those things are present in water. And if you water soil, it's present in soil as well. So we know that you can do this in both ways, but I wanna know which one's faster. And that is something that I don't know. The temperature might be different. The oxygen content might be different. The water content's going to be different. And I'm wondering how water and soil will compare when it comes to germinating avocado seeds. So that's what we know so far. I need to make 
a hypothesis, a prediction about what's going to happen. So I've already conducted an experiment very similar to this one we're going to be performing over the next few months. So those results showed that it were faster to grow them in soil than water. So my hypothesis is that seeds germinated and grown in soil will grow faster than seeds germinated and grown in water. But how are we going to test this? We need to design an experiment, a test, which is where you come in. So let's talk about how you can be a part of the International Avocado Experiment too. So first we need lots of participants from all over the world. Then each participant is going to get at least two avocados with their avocado seeds and start germinating them. We're going to have a control group and an experiment group. The control group is the one that we are comparing the experiment group to. We want conditions to be as similar as possible other than the factor that we are adjusting, the variable. So we are just changing the media that they're growing in. So one is growing in water and one is growing in soil. Everything else should be as similar as we can possibly make it. So if we're growing them in similar size containers next to each other, we should be doing okay. I don't wanna be growing one inside the house and one outside the house. If you've got one on a window ledge, the other one should also be next to it on that window ledge so that all of the other conditions are as the same as we can make them because we're only testing for the variable which is the media which it's growing in. With that in mind, we need a control and experiment group. The control group is going to be our water and toothpick. We know that avocados germinate in water and toothpicks. We did this for our last experiment. So that's what we're going to be comparing it to. So our control group is avocado seeds grown in water. I don't actually mind if you peel the seed or not, so long as both seeds are identical. Don't peel one and not peel the other one. So peeled or unpeeled, start one of your seeds in a cup or jar of water with toothpicks. Then of course we'll need our experiment group. And that's the one that's going to be in soil. So we're going to want to have a container, preferably with drainage holes, full of soil or another potting medium. I don't mind what it is, and I'll tell you why in a moment. I'll also say that we won't use exclusively things that are non-organic, so things that don't break down. So don't use perlite alone, and don't use things like lecker alone. If the perlite is mixed into another mix, that's fine because there's other organic things within it, because otherwise it's not soil or really a potting media, it's just rocks. So we'll set our experiment group up as well. Just poke the seed below the surface a little bit. If we're seeing it poke through the top, that is okay. I'll explain why in just a moment. You're going to record the start date of both seeds. Ideally, they'd start on the same day, but I understand you might not want to eat two avocados in one day. So if they're started within a week of each other, that is okay. And record the start date somewhere. I know that the last time we did this experiment or an experiment like this, people found it helpful to just write the start date on the actual cup or glass that it was in. And I think that that is a good idea. So long as you record the date that it started, that's very important data. Then, well, we will wait. Your job is going to be to change the water regularly on the control group, maybe weekly, maybe fortnightly, so long as you are changing it over. And to make sure that the soil group, the experiment group, remains moist, that the soil doesn't dry out for too long, or well, you need to make sure that it is moist enough so that a plant can grow in it. Once we're doing those things, the rest of the task is to wait. And we're not going to wait for first germination, one, because of course it's going to favour the control group because you can actually see when the avocado is split and is starting to grow roots in a shoot. We're going to think about how tall the shoot is. Let me explain. So long as we're not burying a seed too deep, like the, the tip is about at the top of the soil, you might even be able to see the tip poking through. We can use the height of the stem to determine which one has germinated and grown fastest because that's going to tell us which one's best. If one has germinated and then grows very slowly, well, that's not as good as if it germinates a little more slowly but grows very quickly. 
The reason why we're doing that is that we might find that one group germinates faster but takes a lot longer to start growing compared to the other group which germinates maybe a little more slowly but grows a lot quickly. That's one possible outcome but I want to know which one grows a stem to a certain height first and that height is five centimeters or 50 millimeters which is just that not, not super tall or about two inches i'm not very good with imperial the system and i don't want to be because it's not very good record the date that you measured the five centimeter growth it's going to be approximate so check it every few days and uh, you know you could have a ruler next to it if you wanted to I don't mind, it's going to be approximate because you know determining whether a plant is five centimeters tall or not or when that happens, plants grow slowly. I understand that it's going to be a little bit approximate. So long as we are checking plants every few days, that will be okay. And I'm expecting that we don't need the precise hour to get a fairly good results from this experiment. Once the experiment has finished or both of your seeds have grown to that five centimeter mark, you are then going to go to my website to log your information, which I will show you how to do at the computer. You can go to scottgrowsandavocadotree.com or check out the links in the description to find your way to this page. So this, it's titled International Avocado Experiment 2. Make sure it's got the two there. You shouldn't be able to access the first one, but just in case, make sure it's got the two there. And it's going to ask you several things. Let's do a sample one now. I'll clear it obviously, I haven't done the experiment yet. But it's going to first ask you what country you are located in. So I am in Australia, so just scroll down till you find it and go next. Then it's going to ask you some questions about your control group. And this is where recording the information, so when it started and when you got to five centimeters is going to be really important because we're going to input it to this website. So let's pretend that I started on the closing date. So the 31st of October, 2022. It should be, depending on which region you're in, it might change around. Mine is set to day, month, year, because that's how we do dates in Australia. Uh, and then it's gonna ask you, uh, did your control avocado seed, so the one grown in water, grow a shoot of at least five centimeters during this experiment? And let's pretend that mine was yes, because of course if it said no, it will jump to the experiment group. But I'll say yes, and so it will go to ask me to put the date in. And so let's say it was the very last day of the experiment, uh, 2023. And then I would repeat this process for the experiment group. So uh, let's say again, it was the same one. Ooh, not January. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna ask what potting media that you planted it in. Did you get a scoop of soil out of your backyard? Did you use a particular potting mix? Did you use your own? And if so, what ingredients did you use? So I uh, generally mix my own. So at the moment it's either worm castings or, uh, so one part worm castings or cheap potting mix. Worm castings are better. So I'll put... Just in case that I am noticing that one particular type of soil is extremely effective. We'll be able to pull that out from this to find out. And uh, of course, it's the last me did your experiment avocado seed grow to a shoot at least five centimeters during this experiment. I'm gonna pretend no, just to see what happens. It will then go to, if I want to add a file. So you can, if you want, take photos or videos during the experiment of you measuring, of you setting up, whatever, which you can submit to this page to be included in the future video. Please don't make them long and uh, don't go to all efforts. You know, if, if 10 people send me 10 seconds, that's 100 seconds over a minute and a half already, which, you know, I can't use everything that's sent to me. Uh, but if you wanna have uh, the opportunity to have your footage be used, I'll try to honor that. But uh, obviously I can't promise that everyone's will be included. And uh, make sure if you're taking photos or videos that you capture them in landscape. So we want sideways rectangles, not tall ones. Um, it just makes it easier to include. Uh, then once you're done, you will press submit and it'll come up with the end screen, which I'm not going to do now because I have not actually run the experiment. I'm going to clear the form. So 
that is how you record your data. So make sure you're writing it down or taking the notes before you come to submit it here. It'll just make things a lot easier. Back to the bookcase. So what are we gonna do now? So ideally, you'll be starting your trials before the 31st of October, which is you know, a bit less than a month from now. That should be enough time. If it's in the weeks following that, that should be okay because I'm giving us five whole months for this experiment to take place. So some of these seeds will be growing for six months, depending on how early you get this in, which should be long enough to find some results. I am aware that viewers in the Northern Hemisphere, you're going into winter, that might slow things down because it's less warm. Similarly, I am in the Southern Hemisphere, it's spring, I'm expecting mine to be fairly quick. But that is okay, which is why I'm asking for your countries on the form. The closing date is March 31st, 2023, five months from the start cutoff date. So in that time, you'll start your experiments, you'll monitor and tend the water and the soil, and you'll monitor for how tall they're getting. Once they get to five centimeters, mark down the date that that happened so that you can put both the start date and the five centimeter date on the website. Then. I will get to work and I will analyze all of the samples that we generated. I am not expecting there to be a thousand of them, but if we get a thousand people, I will be doing lots of calculations about how many days it took for seeds to grow and finding some averages. And I will be sharing the findings that we had in a video in April in 2023. So what do you need to do? You need to get some avocados, set one up in water, set one up in soil, record the dates and have fun growing them and observing them. Remember that I would love to see these and you can tag me on Instagram at Scott Grows and Avocado Tree so that I can see them or just be recording them and feel free to send them in at the end of the experiment so that they might be included in the summary video. I'm excited. I know lots of you have been asking to participate in another avocado experiment. And the last one we ran was a couple of years ago and my audience has grown significantly since then. We have about 10,000 more avocado enthusiasts that are subscribed to Scott Grows and Avocado Tree. And I'm thrilled to get as many people on board as we can. I'm excited to do this together with you and I hope you're excited to do it with this community of avocado enthusiasts. Thanks for watching this video. I know I haven't had a heap of videos out on this channel in the last uh, little while, partly because I am focusing on my new channel. That's pretty cool where I'm talking about all sorts of interesting things that fill me with a sense of curiosity and wonder. And also I uh, moved house. I'm not sure if this is coming out before or after the moving vlog. It turns out that this is coming out before all of that. So you have that to look forward to. This might be the first video actually that you're seeing this bookcase. It's a very nice bookcase. Um, yeah, I moved house, so I've been very busy. <laughs> so uh, thank you for bearing with me anyway. And I I'm just excited to uh, see what we get up to with this experiment. So once again, all the links are in the description below. If you go to scottgrowsandavocadotree.com, you will find all the information there, but it is also in the description of this video. So I will see you over the next few months. I can't wait to see what you get up to with your avocado seeds and I'm just going to thank you in advance for participating in the International Avocado Experiment 2. Make sure you subscribe to Scott Rose and Avocado Tree for more avocado content and to not miss any updates about this experiment, especially, you know, in April next year when we publish the results. I am, I'm just thrilled. I'm very excited, as you can tell. This, this kind of thing just, it makes me excited to do collaborative things with people. So thank you once again for watching. Take care, have fun, and we'll see you next time. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree.